I can tell you right now that when this one came out of the case, everybody got called to the <laughs> uh, to the inspection desk, and we were all looking at it, and we were we were pretty obsessed. We all wanted to take it home. This is uh, Demo's fearless leader, by the way. Oh, really? This is Renee Valier. Hi, Renee. I'm John. It's oh, really bright. Yeah, sorry, Renee. we won't we won't blind you. John and Zach were with Plain Tree Guitars, but we took a special a special interest in this demo shop operation. We love it. We love we geeking out. We do too. Out. Yeah. Yeah, we're all pumped on it. Did you get to talk to any of the guys over there? Or? We got to see the floor. He took us through the kind of the five stages of getting a guitar from, you know, box on one pallet to finished, tested, and to the picture. So we saw it all. Cool. Um, yeah. But everyone who we know back home, you know, we're from the Chicago area, but everyone has been so excited at, you know, scouring this reverb store, this demo store. When are they putting super, new ones on? Yeah, we, every day, we're just like super pumped. Yeah. I mean, we can't believe uh, that we're able to make this happen. And at least for me, having been in this industry at another company and seeing us chop up guitars yeah. that, uh, I would have played. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, it's like so heartbreaking. Yeah, and so to come into something where we're able to not chop them up and yeah. sell them to people like myself or Noah that love guitars and don't care if there's a scratch on it. Yes. Yeah. Um, as long as it plays like Gibson Gold, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the fact that Gibson just straight out embraced that though, and is like putting that forward alongside yeah. these beautiful brand new guitars to have both at the same time and have the option and. Yeah. It's great. So We're congratulations excited. on what you're doing. Yeah. Thanks. And thanks for coming by. And thanks for hosting us. Hopefully you us had an amazing tour with Noah. We did. And of course, we're not leaving without spending money. So we're oh, happy. Oh, so they're, yeah, they're buying bringing that home. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we all opened it and we were like, oh, that one, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, like when a cool guitar goes through the line, everybody's like geeking out. Like I'll come out there to go tell everybody what to do and they're all surrounded by surrounding a guitar. And I'm like, oh, okay. All right, we still love what we do. So yeah, we're all nerds at heart. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Well, the, the, whole, the whole team seemed very much, very much into the whole culture of what you guys are doing with the demo shop. For it, sure. It shows. Yeah, and, uh, we hired, I mean, this is probably, these are probably, some of the best repair techs in the world. And we hired people, we took a long time to interview and hire, and they're from all over the country. Uh, one guy was from Europe. Um, wow. So yeah, and I can't tell you how many no's I said, just because you had to fit that yeah. specific culture. I mean, you have to one, love not just any guitars, but Gibson guitars, yeah. and then know what you're doing, yeah. <laughs> you know? And understand what, how to bridge that gap between just a standard, you know, quality off the shelf to something that's, you know, yeah. five marks above that. You guys have something really special in the demo shop. When we did this trip, I was like, we have to see the demo shop. I need to see yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Did you see our uh, photography booth? Yes. Yeah. So that's our hidden, uh, you know, last line of defense. He is our, <laughs> our inspector from a consumer standpoint because he's not a guitar repair tech. Mm -hmm. So sometimes our, our you know, guitar geeks get so like, you know, tunnel vision on one thing that they're working on. And we do have an inspection process that's, that's super thorough, but as our photographer is taking those pictures, he's doing another once over from the eye of our customer. And I think that's really what, what helps us because a, a lot of times he'll just be like, is this supposed to be here? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and it's cool because they're like, oh, I didn't see that. I was so focused on the frets or whatever, you know? Yeah. So um, we'll just do another once over. And so I feel like just that secondary quality check is, is really what's helping our customers see what we're doing. So. Yeah. yeah, the process is really meticulous. It's, it it's really cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah, of course. Thanks, right, boss. We're going to flip the latches on this. Yeah. Oh, he, do you want to do that? No, or you, the, oh, you do it. Man. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man. And it's got the pink interior case. Yep. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to just stand out of the way, Zach. You do your thing on that. Damn. <laughs> yeah. It's no joke. So it's a 57. Yeah, it's an R7. Yeah, go for it. Let me grab the switch cap out of the. Um, oh, please, yeah. We take the switch cap up, switch cap off of every guitar before we ship them because, you know, those can break in shipping pretty easily. Sure. Do you guys have? So you said they go next door when they're ready to be sold. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
And this is what I love too, that just this beautiful natural. So this is one that, I mean, at that price point, you know, people, I guess, want perfection. So if it has a couple yes. dings on it, they send it back. And um, exactly. this one I think had like a corner imperfection yep. or a couple things like that, a couple marks on the back. Yeah, there was a slight one right here. Yeah. And to people who are gonna play them, you know, your buckle's gonna do that in an hour anyway, once you really right. get going. Yeah. Well, I always like to say that I like a guitar with a good story. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not the type of buyer or collector where I want them to be pristine and I, I want to play them. I can tell you right now that when this one came out of the case, everybody got called to the <laughs> uh, to the inspection desk and we were all looking at it and we were, we were pretty obsessed. We all wanted to take it home. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just absolutely beautiful. It's rare to see a greened out gold top kind of style like that. You want to plug it in? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. What do you think? <laughs> kind of made our decision easy, didn't it? Chime to it, it's got the life to it. Shimey in the bridge, creamy in the neck. I mean, it's pretty crazy. It's not hard to sell me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I really do like it. So is this part of, when you see some of this wear, is this from, educate me on that a little bit. Is that oh, that's all VOS? done in the shop. That's, that's like the part VOS of the VOS. Yep. Yeah, which, which I actually, I think it looks sharp because, and that's some of this on the pickup covers as well, right? Mm -hmm. Is that vintage original spec or what is that? Yep. Yeah. It's tastefully done. It's, it is. It's really yeah. cool. Sold. Sold? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> wow, man. Thank you. Of course. Let me go find the guy who can actually take your money. That's always the fun part for you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guitar is pretty cool. When Memphis shut down, everybody who worked there signed that guitar. Oh, my goodness. Wow. My dad took me to the Memphis plant when I was, gosh, probably 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. And uh, just one of those things. It was just so amazing to see that factory. And I have not seen the Gibson Nashville factory in, in any capacity. So yeah, it's, been, it's, I'm really looking forward to it's a neat It's a neat thing to see. Yeah. Yeah, while we're waiting on them, let me grab another green guitar for you to see. This is, this is my favorite thing that we've got here right now. Oh my goodness. This was one of the last things they made in Memphis. It's a olive drab 330. Is this one uh, you're keeping for yourself? <laughs> uh, it's, it's one that I at some point would like to buy. Is it just kind of hanging out in the back room right now, or is it something? Yeah, well, for sale? we we have to do a lot of Zoom meetings and everything, so we have guitars behind us oh, for yeah. you know, yeah. with COVID and everything, you gotta you gotta have a background and everything. So that's, that's pretty good background. So this this is my background. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that Firebird. It's a beautiful. Oh yeah, can yeah. I l let me go grab that? Sweet. You got a Cheryl Crow Limited? Uh, I, I do. Yeah. yeah. It's it's. Want to take the, a peek at that first? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. might be just slightly out of tune. We got two of these, one went up and one went into my office. And these are all like, these are all demo applicable so they can go out on the floor and be sold and go through the process and yeah. at any time. Yeah. So it's not like they're ours, but. It's just, it's a great acoustic, man. Oh, keep playing for us, please. <laughs> yeah. 
Ooh. They, come, they came to catch the door for me, and they said, make sure you ask them about that one. So <laughs> that must be a favorite around here. <laughs> it is, yeah. Great playing, man. Oh, thank you. That's a beautiful, gosh, that's a beautiful guitar. All right, let's see this thing. I'm curious. Okay. Good thing you already spent all your money. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's a good thing is you can only spend all your money once. So. Yeah, right? <laughs> right, that's right. Ooh, we got the little shroud going on. And everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ooh. dude. <laughs> wow. What do you think? Green's been a theme today. So I'm, I'm a Pelham Blue guy because I love the age that it gets. That is... We can't figure out what color that is. We think it's a one-off color, and we've been told that, but um, we, we can't figure out what that is. If it's Inverness green, if it's just something that faded or changed. This is it's like 19. Joker green, dude. You're the man to talk to. Yeah, let me work up a Sure. A feel and this is the first out. time anybody's actually bought one direct. From yeah, yeah, I, I thought we might. Uh, you guys are handling it excellent. Hey, do you guys have any of the uh, T-shirts for sale that I can pick up from you? We do have t-shirts, yeah. Would you like a t-shirt? I'd love to buy one, yeah. Cool, Thanks, yeah, man. Let me grab you one. Appreciate it. Cash is good. Cash is king. Cash is king. It is legal tender, so technically, I think we have to <laughs> accept that, don't we? At some point in time it works. I'm not sure how. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's all you, my friend. Hey, thanks, dude. Yeah, thanks for everything. Yeah, I can't wait to wear this. Yeah, it's gonna be excellent. fun. I just subscribed too. I can't oh, wait perfect. to watch uh, watch what you guys do. Yeah, I mean, has any? I mean, I'm not sure if anyone has really documented the demo shop yet. I mean, maybe some people will come through. I'm no, not... you're the first people to come in and do some uh, YouTube videos for, uh, That's cool. in the demo I shop. Mean... Go straight up and boom. Congratulations to you guys. It's it was not a hard, not an easy year for anybody, and for you guys to create something during that time, props to you. That's awesome. He was just saying that yesterday, trying to do something positive with it all, you know, yeah. and something you're passionate about. And I'm glad that everybody involved with guitars has a lot more people playing guitars. It's good for builders, yeah. for manufacturers. Um, now we just need to get those artists back on the road, you know. That's get right. Those concerts rolling again. Yeah, a lot of our techs are actually like road techs for pretty high profile artists wow. who didn't have a job. So here they are. Wow, wow, yeah. And congratulations to you for landing the job at Gibson. Hey, thanks, yeah, <laughs> I was so cool. I was an actor in New York a year ago and then wow. I just figured, you know, I've always wanted to live in Nashville and I wanted to work with guitars, so here we are. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, pretty awesome. Hence knowing how to use a lav. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was all over that. Yeah. No, they, they put all of us through lav training before yeah. we, you know, do any sort of... <laughs> he, he doesn't even work at Gibson. He's just a, yeah, no, he's a just hired actor. For the day. Yeah, come on in here. All right, well, what else is there to say for playing trade guitars? I'm John. That's Zach behind the camera. We're here with... Noah. And I'm Alex. And this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and, and trade, trade it. it. Nailed it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe <laughs> and drop a comment. Let us know what you think of this amazing, amazing tour of the Gibson Demo Shop. Check them out on Reverb. They are Gibson Demo Shop. That's right. On Reverb. You saw the process. You saw the care that is put into each and every one of these amazing guitars, breathing new life into them, making, in many cases, them one-of-a-kind pieces that are really amazing. And uh, you all probably guessed I wasn't going to leave without dropping some money. So I'm going home with this baby, my new R7. And uh, I couldn't be happier. So thanks for the experience, yeah, guys. Of course, man. Thanks to everybody here uh, for making this happen. Hit subscribe. We'll see you guys soon. So, question Are you just going to call that instead of a gold top, a green top? I think you have to, right? I, I mean, an R7 green top? R7 green top. Well, we're not going home empty handed. This has been beyond even my expectations. This has been beyond my expectations. Can't thank Noah enough, the whole crew and team here, everybody that uh, took some time out to show us around. And we're leaving them with this amazing, amazing Gibson R7. I guess we have, have to call it the green top, the R7 green top. So uh, Zach, I know you're as pumped as I am. So pack can't the car up. <laughs> I know. Green glory. A green glory, man. <laughs> Wow, wow.